How's it going everybody? I'm Troy from Arbitech Tools. We're here at Narwhal Labs working on my power carving project for a competition we're having at Arbitech. In the spirit of Halloween, we decided to stick with a uh, mystery machine theme here. Uh, you can see we have two maple boards that were glued up with Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. And then the image was printed out on regular printer paper with a laser jet printer and transferred to the board with acetone. This is what we're left with, so let's get to carving. Let's carve. All right, so we're ready to get carving. And as always, you wanna make sure you've got uh, proper PPE. If you don't have a fancy power cap like this, make sure you have some safety glasses and a mask. Um, you always wanna have your ear protection, and I like to wear gloves, but that's a preference. Uh, we're going to start with the power carver and the turbo plane. That's the most aggressive cutter we have, and we want to try to relief carve around the outside edge of the van here, so we need to take out as much material as possible as fast as possible. So we started with the power carver and the turbo plane, just to kind of get an edge in some areas where we could get in there with the bigger attachment. Um, we're gonna switch to the mini carver with the mini pro and use that to get into some tighter areas and get some more detail and remove some more material. See what we're working with. We gotta get in around these tires too. <laughs> I don't know if I can get in there with this. Let's start somewhere else, work our way up to that. All right, so uh, did some more work with the mini carver uh, using the mini pro and the carbide blade. Um, just doing some more relief carving, trying to get into some of the detail areas. Started to carve in between the letters with the uh, uh, carbide blade and the mini carver, but didn't really like how it went on the first cut. So we're gonna switch to the power chisel now. Um, it's its own tool, variable speed, quick change button on the bottom so you can pop your chisels in and out. Comes with seven different profiles. Um, yeah, we're gonna use our narrowest profile and try to get in between these letters and get some detail going. Been a good day carving. I think we're gonna hang it up for the night. Come back, finish it up tomorrow. Twenty-four hours later. Zoinks! Where's my power chisel? Grass, check the footage. Seriously though, where the f is my chisel? Hey Grass, you're the editor around here, right? I am. Can you pull up that footage from earlier? Sure, one sec. My keyboard's sticking, one sec. Yeah, it happens. Okay, there it goes. All right, here it is. Huh, someone with a tattoo. A reg tattoo. Oh. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Let's crack this case. Hey, Kristen. Hey. We're investigating the case of the missing power chisel. Um, I was wondering if I could take a look at your forearms. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
Nice ink, but Sorry. you're clean. Good hey, Alex. Hey. We're investigating the case of the missing power chisel, and I was wondering if I could take a look at your forearms. Sure. <gasps> what? It's my crab tattoo. No. Oh, nice ink. Thank That's you. not it. Thanks. Hey, Jeff. Oh, hey, Troy. What's up? We're investigating the case of the missing power chisel, and I was wondering if I could take a look at your forearms. Sure. How about the other one? Flip it over. Zoinks! It was you! Just give me my chisel back. If it weren't for you meddling kids, I'd have a brand new power chisel. I mean, you could have just asked. I got a truck full of tools. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay about it. Nice place you got here. Oh, thanks. Now that we cracked the case, we're gonna get back to carving. Yesterday we did a lot of the relief work with the power carver and the turbo plane on the outside edges here. And then we stepped down to the mini carver and the mini pro to get into some of these tighter areas. And we finished the day up with the power chisel to really start defining some of these lines between the letters. Today we're gonna go back to the power chisel and then see where the day takes us. All right, so we just finished up the bulk of the chisel work here, and um, we're gonna get to sanding and try to clean this up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna use the mini carver with a two inch silicone sanding disc on there that allows it to uh, flex 90 degrees on the sides to get up on your, uh, into some of the tight spots along the edges, as well as the contour sander, which is a random orbit, and that fits right on any 5 8 11 arbor, and we'll use that for the same effect to kind of get a finished sand. So we just finished up the rest of our sanding and got the ink transfer sanded off. We're getting ready to stain our wood. Jeff from Narwhal Labs is gonna tell us a little bit about the ink that we're gonna use. All right. We're gonna use T-Rex alcohol inks. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. These are really great for dyeing epoxy. We'll have a link in the description where you can get these below. Uh, we found that these work really great for staining wood, and we're just going to use rags and swabs to get into the detail of the wood here. Uh, we're also going to use a compatible alcohol white pigment to help make some of these a little bit more of a pastel color. Not going to steal my chisel again, are you? Probably not. Fight. All right, so we just finished standing up the mystery machine here. Pretty satisfied with how that looks. I think the next step uh, to finish it up is to add some gleam varnish from Total Boat. That'll pull the grain out and seal it. All right, we are finished with the Mystery Machine Power Carving Project. 
probably the biggest project I've ever done and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. We got the right combination of Arbortech tools and products from Total Boat and uh, also the space that we were able to use, Narwhal Labs, awesome place to come do some work, learn how to use some tools. If you want to do that yourself, you can sign up to become a member and come in and get started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Go big, go big, go.